Hello everybody, I'm CB. Welcome to CB's Greenhouse and Garden. Hydroponics done easy. I'm going to show you a little different way of growing a tomato plant this year. Broke out my little 2x2x55 two by two by grow tent here. Y'all seen me grow a tomato plant in the corner for what, last three years without a tent. You've seen the humidity problems and such as we had with that. I'm going to show you with the grow tent how to set it up and grow a tomato plant inside that hopefully will get the humidity to where it needs to be. Grow Star sent me a grow light. So let's open this baby up and check it out. This is a 1000 watt grow light. I think this light will do really, really well. well it's packed real good. They even got corner plastics on it to hold it in place so it don't move in that box at all. They give you the clips to hook on all four corners of it. They even give you a yo-yo strap. Now, that, is, that is awesome right there. This is a look at it. It is a GrowStar 1000 watt model number LB LQB1 LQB1. It is 110 volt. Um, light distribution off of it is 120 inches. It is waterproof, IP65. The lifespan is about 50,000 hours, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Now they're stating on growing stage to set the light at 39 inches to 43 inches for seedling, 31 inches for vegging, and for flowering 18 to 20 inches. Uh, I'm going to be growing a plant out of her mulch pile. I got a little seedling growing over here, but it's way behind and we need to get this moving. She's got like a thousand tomato plants out there in the mulch pile. So I'm going to pull one out of there and we're going to put it inside this 10 gallon tote. I decided to go with the tote on this one. Five gallon bucket's too tall. I'm trying to get down as far as I can inside that grow tent for the tomato have to have enough room to grow. Now, of course, I will have to top it because that plant's going to be seven, eight foot tall and I'm only going to be able to give it about a four foot. So we're only looking for about two trusses of tomatoes on that. All right, let's take a look at all the standings on this light. I think this light's going to work really well inside this grow tent. Here's all the specs on it. Once you see all the specs, I'll come back. I'm going to fill this thing up with nutrient water, tell you all about that, get it put in the tent, get this light hung, show you the tent, show you what's going on in there. So here we go. All right, let's take a look at this grow tent and see what we got going on here. I now have the tote in. Filled with, it's got just over five gallons of water. I used one tablespoon of calcium nitrate, one tablespoon of master blend, and one and a half teaspoons of Epsom salt. Now the key was is to get this touching just the bottom with the net cup. So when I set the tomato plant in there, the roots will be in the water. I got it set up. This is a DWC setup with a tube on the front. I do have air running in there. There is the Grow Star 1000 light now. I have a heat timer, a temperature controlled timer in there, well not really a timer, it's just temperature controlled. Once this thing gets into 80 degrees, it'll kick on that exhaust fan for me to blow the heat out. Now on each side has an air vent. You can see the one inside there. I do see a problem we're going to run into. <laughs> the tomato plant ain't going to be able to get very big. But the light is on a timer for 14 hours. The temperature control set is at 80 degrees. 
I am a this is a DWC setup I am using a single airflow aquarium pump all right this is what the tent looks like I'll set up with the light and all let's get a tomato plant planted up in there let's take a look at the tomato plant stalk was crooked on it so I kind of had to cock eyed a little bit basically just wash the roots off I've just got many videos showing how I do this but Wash the roots off, throw it down there in the bottom so the roots are in the solution and fill it up with the clay balls. I want to thank Grow Star for sending me this light. Again, it's 1,000 watt. For $50, I just don't believe that you can go wrong with that light. May have to do some adjustments. As you see, I ain't going to have a whole lot of height for them. I had to change to a different tomato plant. But for now, let's stick that in there and let's see how it grows. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all support means the world to me. It really does. Y'all stay safe out there, and until next time, we'll see you later.